Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of our Heal Your Child Summit. Today, we are going to focus on strengthening the mind. Phenomenal world. A lot of times when we think about chronic illnesses, we don't really think about the way in which our mindset affects our ability to heal. And the same is true for our children. What do they believe about themselves? What, do they, what kinds of thoughts run through their minds? Do they have thoughts of being limited, being different, being, oh goodness gracious, being less than due to the chronic illness that they're experiencing? Have they started to identify with that chronic illness? Today we're going to look at chronic illnesses in terms of the mind, what goes on in the mind, and how we can strengthen the mind in order to promote holistic healing in our bodies and our children's bodies. We have our community resource for today is Ocean Robbins. I'm not sure if many of you are familiar with the legacy of the Robbins family. His grandfather, was the premier person who brought about Baskin and Robbins. Remember, I grew up with Baskin and Robbins ice creams, 31 flavors, oh my gosh, we would walk for blocks and blocks and blocks during the hot summer sun just to get that cone with Baskin Robbins ice cream. He's going to talk to us about food revolution. He's going to share the story of the food revolution that occurred in his family. And now he is going around the globe to create a food revolution to empower people with the ability to heal themselves. He's going to explain a little bit more about that today. We also have Dr. Chetna Kripalu, a medical doctor who is going to share with us her journey of realizing the importance of mind power in healing. She's a medical doctor that's coming to us from a very different perspective not based on drugs, medications, or other types of in interventions. Where she sees the importance of those things, she came to realize that without a shift in one's mindset and the activation of mind power, there can be no true healing. Then we are going to have Dr. Charles Parker. Oh my goodness, this man, he just, I'm just in awe of him. He will share with us the world of orthomolecular psychiatry. In last night's question and answer session, and I invite you to once again, join us for our live question and answer session. Each day at 8 p.m., you have the link that comes to you in your email. In any case, during our live question and answer session, there were lots of questions about psychiatry. There are many, many children, indeed, the second leading cause of death amongst our teenagers in this nation is suicide. The struggle is real for these parents, for these families, for these children. If you are one of them, you definitely want to tune in to what <clears throat> Dr. Parker has to share with us. We next go into the room, the mindfulness room, to have a mindful moment with Andres Gonzalez. His team, has transformed the way in which we look at disciplining. And a lot of our children with chronic illnesses tend to have discipline issues because they're going through a lot, right? And he and his team created the Mindful Room, a different way of approaching dealing with the behavioral issues that our, child's in, our children encounter. Now, his program is not only here in the United States, but it is across the world. Last but not least, we will have Darcy Lewis sharing with us the magic of Brain Gym, how you can utilize movement to bring balance to your child's mind and the integration of the physical body is key. In a world, or should I say, in a time period in our nation where unfortunately PE is one of the fluff that they are cutting out of school programs. Children no longer have recess. 
most of our children are sitting there, you know, twiddling their thumbs on these various devices. They're not moving. She's going to talk to us about the importance of movement and share with us specific movements that can be done while they're in the car, while they're sitting in the classroom, while they're at the sofa that will help them to integrate the left and the right hemispheres of the brain in order to strengthen the mind. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in the summit.